What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video gonna learn how to use the accordion widget from Elementor Website Builder WP plugin for free, okay? Just remember that before anything, in the case that you are in need of extending the features, widgets and elements from your Elementor WordPress Website Builder plugin Go to WordPress.org and download our free Bordless WordPress plugin in order to have more widgets to play with. And after this, remember to subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, and share this content with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much it helps us, okay? So, to the tutorial, let's go to our WordPress dashboard, okay? And once on dashboard, you can go to Page, Add New. and load the edit with Elementor so we can load the front end editor. Once I would like to change my home page, I go to my website view and at the top of my site into edit with Elementor top bar, I'm gonna click on it so I can load the front end and start editing and using the accordion widget, okay? Why we should use this widget? This is good for lists, for features, for FAQs, for example, okay, frequently answered questions. And in my case, I'm gonna be deleting these tabs. In the case that you want to learn how to use tabs widget, review the last video of our channel. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here. We also did teach it how to use the Togo element from Elementor, okay, the Togo widget. And I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here as well. But for today, we're gonna explore in the accordion, okay? So, find a place where you want to apply this widget, okay? The content, the column, the layout. And from the left side of widgets, we're gonna be searching for the accordion. We can type into this search field. But if you scroll down a little bit, just a little bit, into general, you can see next to toggle and tabs the accordion. Click with your mouse on it, hold the button, drag it, and drop in the place that you want. In my case, it's gonna be right here. So I'm gonna drop it. And by default, it came with two accordions. As you can see, the difference between toggle and accordion. It's just the fact that to open one accordion, you need to close another. You cannot have two items from this list opening at the same time, okay? So, in order to un open one, you need to close another one. In the case that you want to add more accordions, more items to your list, click on Add Eating, okay? And you're gonna be able to change the title and description. So, title and description right here. You can use the text decoration, okay? You can apply lists, and you can even apply images in the case that you want. And always remember that you can apply short codes in the case that you have some template, you can copy the template code and post right here. So here is my accordions. After this, we can edit the, tie, the icon, okay? So, none upload an SVG or icon library. I'm gonna click on this plus bottom so I can choose from the icons. Let's try this one for example. And here is what we have. And we can edit the active icon, okay? to anyone that we want. By default, it recommends you some options right here. For example, we can use the, as active this one, as, and, as inactive, this other one, okay? But you are free to change for any icon style that you want. The title HTML tag, div is good, okay? No need to worry and the FAQ schema. This is very good for SEO, okay? So I recommend that you set it at yes according to the content that you have on this section. After contents, icons, 
and descriptions properly added in the way that you want, we can start playing with the style. First of all, we have the border region. You can increase or decrease and the border color. You can change it in the case that you want. For example, choose this red color. And if you do not like it, just click into this clear button right here in the color picker. After this, we have the title, the background of the title. Let's set a darker color, for example. The color of the title, I would like a white color. The active color, okay, if I click on the title, actually is green, but we can change it to any color that you like. For example, this pink color. We can change the typography. So the font family, the font size, the wage, the transition, the style, the decoration. You can even edit the letter spacing. After this, we can change the text stroke. And the text shadow. In the case that you don't like the edition, click right here, back to the full. After, we can change the padding. If you click into this link value together, we can change the padding independently, okay? So we can edit now the bottom padding without editing the other sides. And after this, we can move to icon. We can align the icon to the end. Or to the beginning. The color of the icon. Remember, in the case that you don't like the color, just click into the clear. So, the same can be done with the active menu icon okay so we can edit the color of this active icon for spacing we can change the spacing between the icon and the start of the title of this accordion section and for the content that is this part right here we can change the background We can change the color of the text. We can change the complete typography in the case that you want. You can apply some text shadow and as told previously, you can apply padding to top, to bottom, to left, to right. and even choose the style of the padding, okay? In pixels, in percentage, okay? And the final tab, it's the advanced one, where we can change the other parts. For example, this is gonna explore the entire layout, the entire accordion. You can, for example, change the margin, change the padding, change the widget, the position, the Z-index, apply some class or CSS ID, 
and more options that I did explain it in another video. So, in the case that you are in need of learning anything, just go to YouTube and search for Visual Modo plus the theme that you are looking for, for example, Visual Modo Spacings, Visual Modo Portfolio, or anything, I'm sure you can find a video good for you. And to finish with, I would like to recommend once again, in the case that you are in need of an amazing free WordPress theme, in order to design your site and create an amazing website with custom logos, typography, theme options, custom footer, and many more options, go to wordpress.org and download our Enzo WordPress theme. This is the best free WordPress theme that you can have, I can ensure you of this. And in the case that you want to extend the widgets from our Elementor, from the the full ones to many more nice ones, go to wordpress.org and search for our borderless wordpress plugin. It's free and you can download directly on your wordpress dashboard, okay? In addition, in the case that you are in need of starting with an amazing free website built by the full and imported with one click only, go to visualmoto.com and download one of those amazing templates. Those are pre-built websites for every niche, purpose and sites or business style that you are looking for. Go to visualmoto.com and search for a pro version of Enzo or Borderless. And that is, I see you tomorrow. All the best!